Hello Hoovians, Crispy Bro here and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for sticking around. So, today we are talking about the weird and wonderful world of TikTok. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like a bit of TikTok every now and again. In fact, I have dabbled a little bit. Here's a, here's a clip. Ha 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 ha, very funny, very funny indeed. But the purpose of today's video is in fact in relation to a Daily Mail article that came out a little bit ago um, called Can the TikTok Generation Save Doctor Who? And that immediately caught my attention. So that's what we're talking about today. So strap up folks, it's gonna be a wild one. But before we get into it, you know what I'm about to say. Please like this video as it does help the algorithm. Please subscribe if you have not already. We are slowly but surely reaching our way to 30,000 subscribers. and. When we do, I will fly to the moon, I promise. And please listen to my podcast. That, that's all I ask. That's all I ask. All right, let's talk about some TikTok. <laughs> so the full article title is hilarious. It is, Can the TikTok Generation Save Doctor Who? BBC pins its hopes of rescuing 14th Time Lord from ratings plunge on social media fan base of Shudi Gatwa, who shot to fame playing gay teen in sex education. What a title. Wow, a lot of keywords in there. So yeah, I don't know too much about Daily Mail and stuff. I don't know if they're a reputable site or whatever, um, but alas, we go on. There's just some really funny stuff in this article and some stuff that really doesn't hold up. Um, but anyway, l just have a look. Okay, so the article starts with the historic casting of Shudi Gatwa as the new Time Lord has seen the BBC pin its hopes on reviving the ailing show with a young star with almost as many Instagram followers as Doctor Who has viewed. Ooh, ooh, um, ouchies. I mean, look, if you're if you're a journalist, that's a that's a pretty hard way to start your article. I must admit, because Legend of the Sea Devils, you know, I'm not necessarily going to defend that episode. Like, it, the the ratings were not great for that one. So I'm just going to skip through the article a bit because this video is not just going to be me reading this article, as most of my videos tend to be. One of the stars of Netflix's British comedy drama series Sex Education, actor and model Shooty has approaching 3 million followers on Instagram. I swear it should be is, anyway. TikTok videos featuring the star, also a fashionista, have had more than 100 million views. That's great, and I have no doubt, like, Shooty is a very, very popular man, and he has a heap of Instagram followers. I think he's the first doctor to have, like, an Instagram account. Did I make that up or is that real? I don't know. But he is very popular and he is brilliant in sex education. I um, I recently watched the entire thing in like one week, never having seen it before, and it is sensational. And Shudi's performance in that gets me so much more excited to see what he's going to bring. I like the fact that they've mentioned in here that yes, he's had hundreds of millions of views on TikTok. And whilst I don't doubt that, it would have been nice if we could have had some citation or a video, like a really popular video of his, but they, they don't really have anything in this article, unfortunately. And then the article goes, on to talk about ratings and I don't really like talking about ratings on this channel. Um, I've only really done it once and that was with Mr. Tardis who is much better at handling the subject than I am um, and I think we have a video together. I'll link that somewhere around here wherever you can click it. Um, it's an interesting watch. So they go on to say the show which drew in a peak of 10.7 million viewers t uh, 12 years ago only had 3.9 million viewers for an episode in 2020. The average number of viewers has dropped from close to 8 million to around 5.4 million. And whilst that, you know, the, looking at that on surface level, you're like, oh wow, the show is dipping in numbers. And technically, it is. That, that's what hap that is what's happening. But you have to look at the broader TV landscape because that is happening to TV shows everywhere because of the streaming generation. And then they say, Shooty joins Doctor Who during a state of flux for the show. No, he's not. Flux just finished, silly. And then they have this beautiful, beautiful, stunning graphic that I just want us to look at really quick. Um, it's called Board of the Time Lord. How viewers are slowly switching off Doctor Who. Ooh, scary. And then it gives this really cool graphic um, with a few strange things like series one has an exclamation mark next to it for some reason. Series one, yeah! So anyway, as you see this, um, you know, the graph does, I think a lot of this stuff is, is factual, like the average viewership for this is factual. But then they've completely forgotten to put in Jody's series 13 and in fact have put in Shooty Gatwa's uh, gonna debut in series 13, which I do not believe is the case because series 13 was flux, so maybe they got confused or maybe they do actually believe that Shooty is joining Doctor Who during a state of flux for the show. I don't know. 
Makes you wonder. So this graphic, I don't know, is is a bit weird, but you can see like, you know, the ratings did dip off for Capaldi's and then Jody had quite a strong debut and then it, it, it went down with series 12. I believe that was due to the year long gap um, and the state of the TV landscape. I hate talking about this because it feels like I'm trying to like make excuses and defend, you know, the Chibnall era. And whilst, you know, I'm not necessarily uh, like the, the uh, Chibnall fanboy, I would say, I'm trying to look at this from all ends. Okay, everyone, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Let's just get that out there. I should have said that at the start, but screw it. It's the Crispy Pro channel. We just kind of do things on the fly. But anyway, this graphic is just strange. And I just like how they mentioned um, the show, which drew a peak of 10.7 million viewers 12 years ago. What series was 12 years ago? Like 2010? I don't know what episode they're on about with the peak there, but anyway, if you're talking about Doctor Who peaks, like, I mean, look at these ratings. If you look at the last time it peaked, it's technically within the Jody era anyway. I don't know, whatever. And then the article kind of goes on and on about, um, you know, Shudi and sex education uh, and they don't really talk much else about the, the TikTok thing, which was the main headline grab. But anyway, so the main point of this video and the main point of that article is, you know, kind of implying that, oh, you know, this TikTok generation, can TikTok save Doctor Who? And my counter argument to that is, no, I don't think Doctor Who needs to be saved, full stop. Um, but can TikTok help Doctor Who? For sure, why not? I keep on mentioning in this video, the changing landscape of TV. And you know, part of that is social media. Social media is so key. And TikTok has kind of taken the world by storm. You know, it wasn't really a thing um, at all until kind of Jody's era. And only recently did Doctor Who launch their own TikTok account. And I think that's a brilliant thing. I think they should definitely be posting some TikTok, some behind the scenes stuff, some greatest moment stuff. And as this article claims, if there are videos out there with hundreds of millions of views because of shooting Gatwa and his magnetic personality, um, then for sure, make that promo for Doctor Who as well, you know? This whole article talking about the TikTok generation coming in uh, to Doctor Who, like, I don't know, I hate the term TikTok generation, but I, I will admit that, you know, that there, there has been a new interest in Doctor Who from some new people because Shooty does have quite a large fan base. He's a very, very popular man, as we discussed, like he's got a heap of followers on Instagram. And I saw on Twitter, um, I talked about it in my podcast, like a lot of people were tweeting like, oh, what is Doctor Who? I'm gonna have to figure out what Doctor Who is now, which is awesome. You know, I feel like that's a really, really good thing for the show. A really, really good thing for the show. Will it save the show? No, because the show was never in danger. So there are some comments on this uh, article. So I thought I'd read out a few just for some fun. This one's from AHA in the United States. Um, and they say, who cares about TikTok and who cares about this stupid show? Teens aren't ready for this website. Okay. So Daily Mail is not for teens or the TikTok generation, apparently. But thank you, AHA. Uh -huh. <laughs> This one's from Help 2013. This is what happens with all the woke nonsense. Nothing to do with this fella, but was he the best for the job or the most appealing to the internet woke brigade? Great point there, Help 2013, um, but I'm more inclined to believe uh, Davies when he said that Shruti was the best for the job rather than some people on the internet that think it was just, you know, done for, for the woke brigade. <laughs> and then to end things on a somewhat positive note, uh, Billy Pilgrim says, Full Million is very healthy for viewing figures these days. It's hardly in trouble. And that is exactly my opinion, Billy. Well done, Billy. You get a gold star. Like, I feel like, I don't know, everything just gets blown out of proportion sometimes. And we just need to be like Billy sometimes and be like, you know what? The show's not in danger. And especially, Russell's back, guys. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy the show. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Today's video was really, really random. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the whole TikTok generation. Do you think Doctor Who needs TikTok? Do you think Doctor Who needs to be saved? Do you think TikTok will help with uh, Doctor Who? Let me know in the comments below and I will reply and comment and give you a like and a weird little heart thing. Because that's what we do with the Crispy Pro channel. We're, we're, we have a fun time. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in the next one, um, which is going to be good. It's going to be really, really good. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but oh boy, get excited. Anyway, have an awesome day. Love you lots. Allons-y!